Hello everyone, I'm Pamela from Tennessee. I've been thinking about what project I was gonna bring and show y'all that I'll be plan planning on doing for you. And what it is, I have two old TV trays that I never uh, threw away. They still work, but they just look terrible. I'll show you one of them here. And so anyway, I thought, well, you know what? I can get creative and I can just, you know, fix it up nice. And so what I decided to do, this is a fine core sand block. I decided that first I cleaned it real good. And so I'm going to sand it lightly and I'm going to sand the legs too. And then after that, I'm going to paint it with some white chalk paint I have. And then uh, I'm going to use stencil. And I'm not sure what, what stencil I'm going to use, but when I pick which one I'm going to use, then I'll know what kind of color paint I'm going to use on top of it. And so anyway, I just thought uh, that y'all be, you know, like to watch me uh, do something new to a TV tray. And so anyway, I'm gonna leave here and go outside and go ahead and do my sanding and uh, my spray paint. And then when I do the, uh, when I use the tinsel and the uh, paint I decide to use, then y'all can watch me do it, finish it up. And thank you so much for um, checking in with me and I'll see y'all later. Look at here. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all how to do it. I did paint them and sand them, and I got impatient, and I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of them to let them see what they'll look like when they, when they finish with it. They decide to do it. And so I did. I got a couple of them right now. I'm going to do five all together, and I got one right here fixing to uh, show y'all what I did. And here are the some of the things I made, uh, crafts I made, and I just I try every time I tape to put something new out that I did in the past. So the ones that haven't seen the videos, that uh you know maybe go back and look at them if they're interested in just watching or making it themselves. Okay. All right. First of all, I've got a stencil here. And this, of course, it's already been used, but I wiped it off real good so I can reuse it. And you can reuse them because they're plastic, so you can reuse them as long as you wipe them off good. You can reuse them as much as you want to. And so anyway, first of all, what I do, let me get my glasses on here. I want this to be in the center. And so, it's, of course, it's pretty easy to center something. And uh, so anyway, I've got this in the center. Both sides look about just right, top and bottom. And now I'm going to use some masking tape. Tape it down because you don't want it to move as, you, uh, as you're as you painting it. And you don't have to uh, put the tape on there too tight. I mean, you know, smash it too tight because uh, you won't be able to take it off without taking any of the paint off, okay? Now what I used, I used white chalk paint, and then the black is gonna be used for the uh, for the transfer, uh, for the stencil. And then afterwards, I put on, I'm gonna put this on my pod. This is a gloss luxury, and it's supposed to, uh, it's glue, and it's, it helps protect. But I'm gonna also, to you know, double dose because people's gonna be uh, eating off of it. I'm gonna spray it with this too to protect it, you know. And so anyway, and of course you can use the spray instead of use the the glue type. And uh, we're gonna I'm gonna use one of these little spongers, which if you you have watched my videos, you see I have used in the past. This one's been used, but from the other two. But as long as you wash them, it's just like a paintbrush you can reuse them, okay? Just make sure you you um, you clean them off good. And of course, you know, I'll, uh, after it's dried, I'm gonna use a light sandpaper and I'm gonna sand it where I, you know, the stencil. And it's gonna give it kind of a uh, edgy look. And uh, let's see. And then I've got something else. I've, I, I just came across by it, and then I said, hey, you know what, I think I'll try it on the bottom of my TV trays. And I'll show you later what that is. So anyway, let's get our, uh, let me put some more masking tape down on this, because I want to I make sure it's not going to move 
because you don't want it to, you know, mess up. And like I said, just lightly put the tape down. And also when I uh, use stencil, make sure you don't cover none of the, the pattern up. And uh, I usually always do my faint, use my fingers to, you know, press it down more, especially where you can't put tape in because uh, you want it laying down real good, you know. Okay. I'm gonna put some more here. I should just use a one on each side, but I wasn't thinking. That's nothing new. <laughs> you got that right, girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Now, I've already shook this up and stirred it and all, but I'll give it one last go around. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna put just a little on here. I'm gonna put it in the middle. And this is black, chalk black. Okay, I think I might need more now. All right, now I'm gonna sit on a piece of paper so if it drips, then it won't be dripping on anything else. Of course, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but this is another TV tray. I'm planning on doing, I got two more I'm planning on doing, and I'm gonna put the same pattern on all of them. I decided to do that. And, okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna dip our sponge into the paint, and then, you know, we're gonna press it, the excess off, I'm going to do it over here because I don't want a chance to bleed through. And uh, because you don't want to pack it on there, you know. I mean, you want to cover it real good, but don't pack it because it has a tendency to bleed through, you know, mess up. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I get, make sure you get on all of your sponge. All right, I'm going to start in the middle, I think. Well, it turned out to be a nice day today. Uh, it was a lot foggy earlier. Now I noticed, see how I'm doing this? I'm giving it a little twist with my wrist here. I seem like it, it does better this way. For me, anyway. You do it the way you want to do it. But uh, no, I got to looking at those uh, trays and I got thinking you know I, I like to have something different because you're eating on them I mean you're not gonna really be paying attention but they do sit up I've got a I've got a stand that they sit on and I, I did paint the stand black and I'm thinking about putting uh some other kind of stencil pattern on the top of it and if I do I'll you know I'll let you see it I'll show the stand anyway at the end when I get through with everything you know I notice as I'm talking, my voice seems kind of rough. <laughs> I guess that also comes with old age. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, you just, uh, one day at a time is what my mama used to say. I keep wanting to reach over to the side <laughs> to dip my brush. I don't guess y'all saw that, did you? Some things you might want to edit out, but I leave, I leave everything in mind. I mean, you know, it's the real thing when you see it. And when you watch one, you'll say, yep, that's the real thing. <laughs> you know, but we all have difficulties in life. I know we all do. And sometimes we wish we could go back and erase some things, you know. But we can't, but you do. You try to do better the next day. If you live to go the next day, if God gives you another day to live, try to live it better. Spread love, you know, smiles. Somebody asked me one time, said, Pam, said, what are you thinking about? And I said, well, nothing as of right now. And they said, I said, why? They said, well, I just noticed you across the room and you was just smiling. That's <laughs> just part of my makeup, I guess. <laughs> I said, you're funny. <laughs> I said, well, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of anything. I just, it's just like it's painted on me, you know? <laughs> I 
Yeah, we, uh, you can go through life, you know. I remember one time, oh, I remember a lot of times. Yeah, I believe the Lord sends angels your way. I believe in angels. And I remember one time I got up that morning and I was painting my living room. And uh, I had all, you know, paint clothes on, my hair all wadded up and everything. Looked like I just got out of bed, correctly I did. But anyway, I, I was painting them in my living room, you know. Well, I got to thinking about things, you know, uh, that's going on, what's going on in my life and all, you know. And I, I, I started crying. I was crying while I paint. How about that? <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, I would cry, you know, a little bit and then dry my tears and cry some more. Well, lo and behold, here I am looking like I did. Eyes all red, no makeup on, no nothing. Hair, uh, hair was combed, but it was all in a bunched up, you know, because I was doing painting and everything. But anyway, I heard a knock on my door. And so I thought, oh, I wonder who it is. So anyway, I, I went to the door, and a UPS man. And he said, uh, here you go, ma'am. And I said, okay, thank you. He said, you know what? And I said, what? He said, you are beautiful. And <laughs> you know what? That just stunned me because I'm thinking, here I am, been crying, back paint all over me, got my raggedy clothes on, and some person that don't even know me told me I was beautiful. Now, I tell you what, if that don't make you feel good, just, you know, looking like that and somebody just comes and don't even know you he didn't have to say nothing to me but he did and i believe that was an angel i believe the lord used someone or sent someone out you know however it goes i don't know but i needed it at that time i i believe the lord really knew i needed some kind of encouragement or some word or something and you know it's just um it's just the way the Lord sends people that you don't even know, you know, to bless you. I mean, sometimes you're blessed by people that's not even, that you don't even know. It's like another time, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I do have happy times in all my life. But one time, I was standing in line returning something at a department store. And I started, <laughs> I started thinking about things, you know. And I guess... The look on my face was like um, sadness, you know, and um, this person walked up to me and he said, you know what, I want to tell you something. And I said, oh, what's that? He said, I want to tell you, you have a beautiful smile. And of course, I smiled for a bit. You know. I said, thank you. <laughs> I'm thinking. He walked off and thinking, I wasn't smiling. <laughs> so, see, the Lord does work in mysterious ways. And he'll come when you need him. And sometimes you're not even praying to ask him to come or ask him for anything. But he knows you need something at that moment. To lift your spirits or to help you, you know, get through whatever it is you're going through. But anyway, that's just some things. Oh, I've got boo coodles of things that that the Lord has really sent my way, you know. And uh, I can't thank them enough, you know, because I'm not I'm unworthy. If anybody's unworthy, I sure am. I'm telling you. But He's seen me through a whole lot until He take, to, you know, decides to take me home. I guess I'll, I'll continue on going through a whole lot, but I know as long as I have him, I'll, he'll see me through it. None of us is perfect, you know. A lot of us think we're above others, and we'll talk about others, you know. And all I can say is thank the Lord that you didn't have to go through half the stuff some people's had to go through, through their life, you know. And all the judging and all that, you know, that's just kind of, I think, kind of maybe uplifting yourself, and when you should be thanking the Lord that you didn't have to go through none of that. That he didn't put you through anything like that. 
And who knows, if you're still alive, ain't no telling what you might have to go through. It might be something worse than whatever anybody else had to go through. So what I'm saying, y'all, the people that I sent request on Facebook to be my friends, uh, you all answer. And, now why did I say that? Well, you know what the Bible says in Matthew? Out of the bounds of the heart, the mouth speaketh. <laughs> speaketh. Y'all, I don't feel that way, really. I've had people send me uh, <laughs> friend requests I don't know, or I didn't know that well or something, and I never did accept them, you know. And it wasn't because I didn't like or anything. It's just, you know, you're cautious, or I don't know. It may be another reason, you know. But, I mean, I, you know... <laughs> Now, that was, I was kidding y'all, but it does happen. <laughs> like, I have, I have uh, a, a sister named Katie, and I, I see, I, I took down my Facebook, and then I reopened it up, and so anyway, I was, I was trying to get a lot of my friends back, and some came back, and some didn't, you know. Well, my half-sister, Kelly. I sent her a friend request. Well, I checked it, never did accept it, you know. And so I just left it on there, you know. Well, one time she, she did accept it. And she she said on her Facebook, she said, you know, she, she says uh, something about, I like to wait a while when someone sends me a friend request to just, you know, make a like, I wonder why she ain't checked it yet. <laughs> Ain't accept me yet. <laughs> but she said that's why she is. You know. Everybody has their ways. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, sometimes we, um, things, things, some things ought to go one way, and yet they can still go the other way. <laughs> it's like what goes up must come down. <laughs> Spending well, got to go around. Oh my goodness. Oh, me. Okay, I pretty much got this covered here while I'm talking, y'all. And uh, if you had not tuned me out yet, but anyway, the ones that are still with me. I've got this covered, so I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to come back, and then I'll peel it off. And then uh, from there, I'm going to, uh, I'll put some of this glue on. In fact, I'm, I'm, since I'm in the house, I'll put it on and just show you uh, how I put it on, how I apply it. No special way, but for me, I, I go the easiest way and the way I think I get the better coverage for it. But anyway, I'll see y'all in a little bit. <laughs> well, hello, y'all. I'm back. And I did find a little design that would go on my uh, TV tray stand. And it's not much, but I thought, well, it adds something to it. And it's time for us to reveal how this turned out. Each time, even though uh, you know how to do it and all, it's just that moment where did this one turn out? <laughs> so we're about to see. get all happy and I am. <laughs> I told you don't take much to make me happy. Look y'all. Didn't that turn out good? I thought so. I think so. <laughs> well now, now we got this. I'm just going lightly. It's so pretty but I, I want to use sandpaper. I think it just adds a little to it. And like I said, lightly go over it you know, and I just want to just barely lightly kind of give it a, I don't know what they say, a little antique look or old look and don't look, you know, like all new or anything. But. You might not can't tell that much difference, but I can. <laughs> and here it is. Kind of, I guess, more like a 
put it in there a little deeper or something, sand it a little bit and got a little a new color kind of powdered, you know, to one side to the other. And let me uh, get this, I wanna dust this off before we put the um, Mod Podge on there. But before I do that, I wanna, I wanna do something else. I'm gonna turn this upside down. And you know, sometimes when you have TV trays, they don't have anything on the bottom of it, you know. And they, if you have wood floors, you can always hear somebody scoot one, just like a chair. Well, lo and behold, didn't know it was gonna work. I thought, well, I'll try it, you know. Well, I have these caps that go on the bottom of the chairs to keep them from scratching the floor or making a noise. You know, sometimes you can't stand that noise. It's like a, putting your fingers against a chalkboard, you know, a blackboard. And, and these right here, this is what how they look. They got a little, um, um, oh, what do you call that? Well, my mind just went blank. Anyway, it's for chairs. Well, I thought, well, I, I, I'll just try it on the TV tray and let's see what they look like. And you know what? They fit right on there good. Look at that. I think it kind of adds to make them look a little nicer too. Cork, that's what I'm thinking about. That's on, that's cork on the bottom there. Okay. Yeah, uh, I got two more trays I need to do and then I'll be finished with them. But uh, it's just, you know, things that you just never would think of before about doing. I never thought about doing anything like this, you know. I just put up with those bad looking TV trays, you know, until I bought me some more or something. But I decided, well, I like to do crafts, so why not? You know, why not um, Why not use my imagination? So I did with a stencil. <laughs> that was having to use my brain a lot. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna turn it over. Y'all see how they look? Yeah, they look on there. Let's see. Well, you hear a squeak, but you don't hear the chalkboard. There we go. Kind of glad maybe it wasn't on there all the way. But I just like it. You know, it's just, I don't know. It just, I, it looks better. And plus it, the sound of one being, you know, uh, drug over to you, you know, like sometimes it gets ner on my nerves, you know. Pick the tray up. Oh, I don't think about that. <laughs> Well, anyway, so I'm going to show you how I apply this myself. This is the way I find You can put it on there anyway, but to me, uh, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier, and you'll get full coverage, you know. So, let me get her on this side. I'm sorry I had to keep walking in front of y'all. I was thinking the camera would pick this up. Anyway, of course, this is from uh, when I used it on the other two trays. And so, I covered it up with a plastic bag, and it's fine. The roller's still down. That's another good thing you can think about is when um is when you have you want to save something you know or you don't want to throw the roller away which I have some more but I thought well I'm gonna do the same thing on the on this one that I did the other two and I'll do I'll save it just like I did when I do the two others too and uh, so anyway you just put a paper bag on there and close it and it'll keep your your uh and this is goes for paint too as some of y'all don't know a lot of you probably already know this I'm sure. But it goes for glue or paint or whatever. If you have to use a tray, put it in a plastic bag with the uh, paint brushes, or you can put them individual in another bag, and you know, and um, tighten it up at the end so it won't, you know the air can't get in there. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour some of this um, glue here. Let me just shake it up. See how easy that is? Because I've used this, but remember the Vaseline. <laughs> it works. I'm telling you, it works. If you get tired of having to throw away glue or paste or something because you can't get the top off, then uh, try that because it does work. All right, I'm putting I'm putting it in the uh, 
glue there and now I'm running it up here just like you would a paint, uh, paint roller. And now I'm gonna start painting the, let me get this off here. I guess I'll start up here. And this will help protect it. And once this dries, it dries clear and uh, the flowers will come, you know, to, to it and uh, come through it and you'll just, you know, it won't affect the way the flowers is. I've got a long hair there. We don't want no hairs in there now. <laughs> I'm not sure what, uh, what video I have to put up up till uh, November. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but but I have one coming up in November that if at all possible, I think y'all would all like it. I love it. <laughs> I know I'm going to love and I'm going to enjoy making it. Well, I enjoy all my crafts and all, but this isn't a craft. This is something else. I will give you that. And, uh, it's the first time I've ever done uh, anything like this that I'm going to bring in November, so we'll see how it turns out. And you just go over it, you know, and to you for sure you got it covered good. As you notice, I went on the edges here too, you know. Now, like I said, I did I did uh, cover the rest of it. Now I did cover the rest of it with the spray. You know, I got some Mod Podge spray, and I, I put that outside up, and I covered I covered the legs and the frame and all with that because you know that just helps protect the the paint. And you just go over as many times you want. Okay, I believe that got it. <clears throat> so I appreciate y'all joining me again. And I hope y'all have a blessed day. And if you like what I share, don't forget to subscribe um, and ring the bell. Bye-bye, y'all.